Hi, I'm Veronica Langley. I'm a junior, I'm a creative writing major and a film studies minor, and this past winter term I had the opportunity to build a puppet for the theater department's production of Mill on the Floss. So it sounds very weird and niche, but both my parents are actually puppeteers. My mom has been working at the Jim Henson Company for most of my life, and my dad is a puppet and prop fabricator. When Liz, Carlin Metz, the director of the show, mentioned that she wanted a puppet for one of the scenes, I immediately jumped at the chance. The whole reasoning behind having a puppet in this particular scene was the puppet represents the character Lucy, who is very quiet, she's very well behaved. She's basically everything that the protagonist, Maggie, cannot be. So she's kind of the ideal daughter and the way that Liz wanted to have that is by her being this almost a caricature I went into our meeting with a bunch of designs already prepared She told me what she liked she gave me some notes and then I eventually decided on something that I started building pretty much right away The armature the structure of the body is PVC pipe and the foam around it is what we would call cosplay foam It's very thin the head is a styrofoam ball that I was able to carve into the right shape so there would be a handle at the back, and then the puppet's face and hands are both paper mache that I painted. Originally, the idea was to have the puppet walk and have her feet be attached to the performer's feet, so I built functional knee joints out of leather and zip ties. We ended up opting for a simpler approach, which was the puppet being able to just sit down and stand up. Her left arm moves, her head moves. Overall, I would say the entire process took about 20 hours of work, but that's only the stuff that I did. I really owe everything to Craig Choma and the people in the scene shop for letting me use their tools and I owe just as much to Allison Hahn and the people in the costume shop who also lent me their materials and who ended up making the puppet's costume. Caitlin Reevnak is the person who ended up operating her on stage and I really didn't have to coach her that much. We kind of just had one really quick meeting. I was like, this is where this is, this is where this is and she pretty much got it right away. So once I got to see the show and I got to see that scene, that was it and I couldn't do anything else about it. I just had to like like sit there and hope that it ended up working out. The puppet came out and it got a reaction from the audience and Caitlin's work was just stunning and so much more than I had ever hoped. It was so fantastic and I was just so excited to see how it turned out at the end of all that work. I know there have been a few theater productions in the past that have used puppets of varying sizes, but this is the first production that I've been around for in which there was a puppet being used. I'm really grateful to have had the opportunity to develop this very specific skill set and lend what I could to the final product that was this fantastic show.